minutes. I'm waiting 40 minutes. For what? I told you last time. It was the last time. A year is pretty expensive to get a pilot's license, huh? For eighty dollars an hour? For all year to subsidize you, man. I told you no more. Didn't you get the message? I didn't get no message. What message? My machine must be broken, all right? Look, man. Tell me you can really afford to pass this up, right? Look. All right. But I'm only taking one of you. I should be doing this. Why am I doing this? Yeah, you're right. I never give myself a lift either. Check it out. There's my mom's house. There's my dad's house. Hey, there's my pizza hut. Quiet down, will you? I can't hear the radio. Empty pool, two o'clock. Cross Street? Uh, it's Culver and Alton. It's no good. There's a foot of water down the deep end. Oh, shit. Look at that. No! Hey, no. Damn it, Vile Hollow, hey. home of the pool god. There's too many Jay. workmen down there. Who cares? Let's go now. James, out. get us over to uh, Garden Jay. Grove. Yeah, James. Huh? Yeah, please. James. Yeah, that's what most drivers are called, right? Yeah, well, not this drive. Bingo! That's it, right there. Yeah. That's it. Association up here. I know my rights. Hey, you're gonna hey, hear from I'm us. I'm just having fun, okay? Fun? Well, that's what you say. Fun. Detective McGill. Ow. I'm glad you're here, Detective. Okay. Can I sue them? Can I sue his family? Can I sue the family? Uh, I want to know. I can sue their fathers, right? Let me get some details, right? Can they sue us? That's what I want to know. Uh, who are these people? Those are my neighbors. Come on, move it. Yeah. I think it's a block party or something. I want refreshments next. Is there any damage done? Hey, get down. What? Down. I don't want to get down. I'm getting a pit bull. You guys. This is a dumb move. Well, maybe you figured that out already. Come on, man, please. We don't need a lecture, all right? Aren't you supposed to read us our rights or something, huh? Have it your way. What is that? Smart ass. Oh, shit. How's that fun? Don't call my mom. Please. Get these guys out of here. Yeah. Attention! See, Let's I'm... Skateboard stays in the garage. <laughs> what you worry about? It's not gonna shit on the rug. Okay, what do you want from us? You want us to be just like you? Think maybe if I had your haircut, I could sell more policies? Or maybe if I had your mouth, I could close okay, a deal every okay, day. Okay, okay, let's just go inside, please. Thank you. Yeah. We're home. You alright? Yeah, alright. See, he's in real trouble if he's arrested again. And I'm not gonna be there to help him the next time. Oh, come on. Give him a break. Giving him too many. Listen, I'm hungry. Anybody want to help me with dinner? Sloppy asshole. Well, you know what they say. It's a dirty job. They love you, you know. Yeah, 
They don't know what to think of me. Hey. You moved. All right, it's my turn. Yeah, but it was a good move. Jesus Christ. Look, everyone knows you're the hero around here. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, my God. Let me get my jacket. Hi, Brian. Hi. See ya. Fix a couple of the answers. I did okay. You put some effort into it. You might even pass without me. All right, man. All right, you owe me one. By the way, Brian, I always forget which one of you guys is adopted. That's really funny, Yabo. You're hysterical, man. wants to meet you. Doesn't believe me when I say your name is Kelly. Look, not today, okay, Bobby? I'm late. Don't worry, Kelly. Colonel loves you. Oh, no, no fresh vegetable. It takes three weeks for the boat to reach Vietnam. We are just sending medical supplies. Vang, vang. Say goodbye, yeah. Say hello to the family, please. Vang, vang. Tina, put Mr. Hong on the guest list. Okay. You're late, Bing. Very unusual. Sorry, Strike. I got stuck on a calculus problem. No problem. I'll take it off of your paycheck. Daddy. That to what? You finished already? Yes, sir. There's something wrong with the shipping weight of the last container. Most of the items seem too heavy. I have no pass for creative cotton balls. So how long have you been an expert in medical supplies? Oh, but sir, there's half a million dollars involved. Well, let's just say I, I, I think somebody may be ripping us off. Oh. Who? Oh. Westpac Medical Supplies is the distributor, and they have been handling all the shipping. Nonsense. I'm sure this is just a clerical error. Maybe. I know. I'll go double-check the last few shipments. Thanks. You've been working here for two weeks now, and uh, you're doing a good job. But I cannot have you spending time on shipments that have been paid for and dispatched with no complaints. Maybe I need an experienced person to finish the job, okay? Hey. Oh, honey. 
Let me see that. What? I bet you got that skating. Notice. I wouldn't worry so much if you'd buy some new safety pads or one of those helmets I see the boys wearing. Yeah, well, they're all pretty expensive, man. I know, but you're worth it. Oh, no way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> the most expensive. Well, I shouldn't tell you this, but I love to watch the skating. <laughs> you do? Uh, you know how clumsy I am. I can't believe a son of mine is so graceful. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <I'm very laughs> well. Oh, man, when did you start smoking? Shut the door. They don't know you smoked yet. They just started. This shit'll give you cancer, man. I'm in trouble. Oh, what? No, you got a B plus in calculus. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? You think I'm an asshole? You think I just kiss up to mom and dad and pay the rent with good behavior, right? All right, look, I'm gonna step outside and I'm gonna come back in. What do you say we start over, huh? Hey, Minsky. How long thing, pal? Maybe you and your friends were right. <laughs> we are. You don't trust adults at all, do you? Uh, here's what I think. Uh, adults are predictable. <laughs> don't count on it. Yeah. They're uh they're living under this illusion that life as we know it is gonna continue forever. So they expect you to behave as though what you do today is going to have an effect on where you'll be in 30 years. I mean, it's ridiculous to think that there's going to be anything in 30 years, you know? I don't know what's worse, you know? Being blown up in nuclear war or having a 7-Eleven on every corner. And what if the world doesn't blow up? Then where are you going to be? I don't know. You're still mad because they adopted me, huh? Come on, man. Look, it's been 11 years, all right? You're not my problem. What happened at work today? Why today? Because you weren't like this yesterday. Come on, man. What happened? One minute I thought I was doing something right. And then the next minute... Maybe I'm not the one who screwed up. No, I got those figures right. What figures? Just forget it. You just want to understand.
to tell us something now, Kelly? There's nothing to tell. Who are you really working for? I told you who I was working for. My son, huh? No Vietnamese, God damn it. Now, what did you say? I said he's a communist sympathizer. He's a kid, for Christ's sake. Now, who did you tell about those containers? Tell what? <laughs> Don't you lie to me. Who did you tell? Said. I think it was 12 o'clock, maybe a little after. Rented a room to this Chinese kid, and next thing I know, just gets Vietnamese. Well, they don't look alike, you know. No, they don't. Don't mind, Mr. PR. Now, look, did you notice anything unusual about the way you act? Unusual? 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 It's slow. The kid comes in, rents a room. Shit. With... Kids didn't kill themselves when I was going to high school. What the hell's going on, Hello, Jero? <sighs> what do I know? Is there any sign of drugs? No, nothing immediate. Which one of you know the family? Yeah, oh, okay. I'll make the call. Mom, what is this? I haven't done anything. I think you should talk to your father.
Let us pray. O Lord, hear our prayer in which we humbly ask of your mercy that you would give your servant, Finn, whom you have commanded to leave this world, a place in the land of light and peace, and bid that he be made a companion of your saints through Christ our Lord. Amen. May he rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Ask you a question. We lost the town. He's in the main office. No, um, it's about the kid who killed himself. What about him? Did you tell me you found him? Maybe I found him. What do you care? He was my brother. You think I'm blind or stupid? A boy died. It's nothing to joke about.
be there. Both of you. I'm gonna go right now. Yes. thousand dollars and a plane ticket to Bangkok and then I tell you the English on English god damn it speak English I told Rob to be stupid I'm not stupid my insurance okay I'll get you to Bangkok but that's it you can forget about the fifty thousand dollars a plane ticket is easy I want the money don't give me a jerk off hand job <laughs> Gun very well. What am I supposed to do? Let him shoot me? Now oh, you were a soldier. You've done your share. Killing. It was in defense of my country. This is different. How is it different? This is murder. It was an accident. Put your mind in rest. I'll handle this. No. I know his father. Out there, you're welcome. Get over here. Get over here. Let's go over it again. You get taken here. And the guy gets out of the car. Let's take a look around. Talks here. to a couple other guys. To the groves in there. And then he's dead. Who shot him? How am I supposed to know? What do you expect me to do? Stick my head out the window, ask everybody to turn around? Hey, why is that? Okay. Oh, okay. Man. Back it up then. Shit. Just back it up. All right, you're in the back seat of the car of the guy who was following you. Right. Why was he following you? 
I don't know. I, I, he was just following me. Maybe he was a pervert. Oh, right. You jump into the backseat of a pervert's car? Right, listen, what, are you playing hard to get? You know, if I had a dog with a face like yours, I'd shave his ass and teach him to walk backwards. What'd you say? Say that again. Say it. Hey, whoa, 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 big guy. Hey. You, you little shit. You just watch your goddamn mouth. Look, I'm telling you, it happened right here. I'm not lying. Oh, no? You gotta hear what it sounds like from where I'm standing. Okay, get in the car. I said get in the car. Oh, man. All right, listen, I'm gonna go uh, back... What do you think? No? Huh? Ain't shit here. You're really pissing me off. You're always... Look, time. look, look. He made a call from the payphone at the Arco station on Catella. Now, the people he called, it must have been the people that he met here, right? Oh, God. I'm waiting. Is there anything else? Hmm? I don't, uh... I don't think my brother killed himself. Okay. Okay. Talk. My brother was not the type of kid who would go into a motel and hang himself. So, I mean, I just wanted to find out a little more about it. So I went to the motel for myself, you know, just to check it out. And then this Bobby Nguyen guy starts following me around. And then he comes here and he gets killed. Just the way I said it. Why would I make this up? I don't know. Yabo. Brian, come in or go home, but don't crush my Dracina Marginatas. Mom. Um, I love that game. It's very exciting. I don't mean to be, like, nosy or nothing, but is everything all right at home? I'll just talk to you when we go around. I think I failed him. Failed him? Failed math, not brothers, right? You know what I mean? Maybe I am as bad as they say. Who says? Everyone. Ah, don't listen to the numbers, the common herd. Shine it on. You're different. Yeah, I'm different? You checked yourself out in the mirror this morning? <laughs> it's an oversimplification. When I say different, I mean different. Brian. Clean the cube. Huh? You're in worse shape than I thought. The cube, Brian. It's a place that you skate when you let go. Don't worry. It's an intangible. Nine tenths of the people don't grasp it, so I guess you're safe for now. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to be different. Well, it's not optional. Well, I guess, uh, I could always just run away, you know? Well, personally, I wouldn't blame you, but you don't want to see a picture on a milk cotton, do you? Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll see that they put your picture on a six-pack of bud. <laughs> I'm on, baby. Mr. Nguyen? Robert Nguyen? Yes. 
Never mind. Take a guess. Wait, you found out something, right? Right? Come on, man, you have to tell me. Look, um, we're, we're his family. We have a right to know. Sit down. Sit down. I know how much this means to you and your family. So I'm going to tell you what I know. Nothing I got right now says your brother didn't commit suicide. And everything else says he did. Yeah, well... The only reason I'm even a teeny bit interested is because your brother didn't register at the motel the night he died. He didn't? Who did? I don't know who did. Bobby Nguyen? I don't know that. Now, what about the call he made from the payphone at the gas station? Tell you, something, you don't worry about that, okay? I got that covered. Now you do me one big favor and get out of here, okay? I'm working. What is it you have against me, anyway? What? Well, look at you, man. You're a screw up. Hey, I was screw up too. Believe me, I know the symptoms. Oh. So you're saying you're not one anymore? A uh, screw up, I mean. Could a screw up acquire such wealth, power, and prestige? Especially in Orange County. Yeah. Uh so, uh, what do you have against Orange County? Didn't I ask you to leave? Come on, guy. Look, there's got to be something else you can hey, tell you me. you want to piss me off. Now, I want you out of here right now. Got it? Go! Damn it! Pick it up. Oh, no. Hey, pick it up! Uh, sorry, you're, uh, you're just trying to help. I'm being an asshole. All right, forget it. Look, as soon as I know something for sure, I'll let you know, okay? Right. Bosa video. What? Bosa video, may I help you? Uh, no, wrong number. something out. Bobby knew when he called Bolsa Video. Mm -hmm. Now, Bolsa Video is owned by Colonel Trock. Mm -hmm. My brother was working for Colonel Trock. Uh, it was Trock and Nguyen. That's two out of three. Now, all we have to do is find the American, the guy who shot Nguyen. Brian, we ran a passport check. Bobby Nguyen, you're Bobby Nguyen. I arrived in Bangkok last night. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're covering their tracks. Yeah, right. Excuse me. Lucero. 
Just one moment, please. Five. Yeah. You take this. Bobby uh, and the wind saw this. That's why he started following. Where'd you get this? My brother. Why didn't you show it to me before? I figured you'd think he was mixed up in drugs or something. Drugs? Nick, take a look at this. What's that say? Who? Just said that. Uh, antibiotics, 200 pounds. Bunko, bandages, 800 pounds. Come check. Um, alcohol, 500 gallons. It's a list of medical supplies and quantities. Maybe a bill of lighting. Thank you, Nick. Your brother was working for the relief fund, right? He was over there during the war. Worked intelligence. You can keep this. Well, then what about the motel registration? The other guy? Oh, fine. I think it's time to let it go. It was a suicide. That's what the coroner found. Hey, we gave it a shot, but that's the way it's going to go down in the books. They killed my brother. You're not listening to me. No, you're, you're the one who's not listening. They killed my brother. something and I don't know how to finish it. You, uh, you were always good at that. Finishing, I mean. Remember that, uh, aircraft carrier model? I bought it, but, uh, I couldn't follow the instructions, so you put it together? I guess that was always a thing. You, you were always one step ahead. I could never catch up. It really pissed me off. So I just gave up. I stopped trying. It's funny, huh? I mean, uh... Now it seems everybody else has given up on you except me. The screw up. I'm not giving up on you. I miss you, Ben. I mean, I, I hate doing my own homework. Well, uh, 
It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I want us to be friends. Brian, we can't. Why not? Look, I'm sure that on your planet there must be someone for you to be friends with. It wouldn't be any better for you than it would for me. We don't have anything in common. We have Vinny. Not anymore, we don't. And it's more complicated than that. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. My father won't let me see American boys, even as friends. I, I don't understand. You don't have to. Hold on, hold on. And even if he would, Brian, if you look at yourself. Yeah. I get it. I'm sorry. Mom put him up to it. Yeah, rip it up. Hey, hey, where's your boy? Felt like walking today. No, no, no. We have to talk about this. I can't right now. Man. Nice threats, Kelly. What does it mean to you? Americans can come to your store, but they can't come to your home? Hi. Father, mother, you remember Brian Kelly. Brian, this is my father, and this is my mother. Hi. This is quite a change. <laughs> Damn hair. I guess we all do unexpected things sometimes, don't we? Yes, I suppose we do. Brian, if we want to get to an 8 o'clock movie, uh, would you like to come in and have some tea? Yeah, that'd be nice. Some other time, Mother. Oh, I think we should. I mean, um, if the Colonel doesn't mind, there's a million questions I'd really like to ask him. Questions? Brian, we have to go. Yeah. About, uh, about history. About what really happened in Vietnam, you know? I think it would help me understand what happened to my brother. Someday, perhaps. A judge a movie. Right. Bye. Good night. Thanks. So, um, what else does your father do besides send medicine? Is not enough? I don't know. Uh, he does that all by himself? That's amazing. He has plenty of help. All the Vietnamese or does he work with some Americans? Brian, how would you like it if I was stuck and talking about your father all night? I guess I'd say catch you later. So what should we talk about then? Well, 
How about skateboarding? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. What's so great about it? Something I can do by myself. There's nobody there to judge me. You know? It's just a way I can express myself. It's like, uh... I don't know how else to say it. And you've stopped? Yeah. Hey, Brian, catch us. This is stupid, man. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. It's your birthday. Come on. Come on, Brian. Come on. We're your friends now. Right. Come on. You frightened my room just by leaving it. Come on now. Let's have a three way catch. Ben, come on. Come on. Right. in your life you've ever asked me that question. Um, how's work? It's awful hard to think about actuarial tables or fire indemnity when I can't get vent off my mind. Yeah, I know. You always said Ben was special because we chose him. We chose him. How did that make you feel? Ryan, what did I ever do for you? You, uh, you took me to Disneyland. Once. When you were six. Yeah. And they, uh, they threw me out of the park for pissing on Donald Duck. It was difficult before he adopted him, Dad. Anyway, that, uh, that's all in the past. Just like Vin's death. You can't, uh, you can't blame yourself. Are you giving me advice? Yeah, I guess so. I'll take it. Kidney ten feet deep. The pool's empty, and the house burned down last week. So he burned it down. <laughs> no, not today, man. Not today. Why? Brian, everybody knows that you're blaming yourself for Vin's. <laughs> right. For the way that he died. But I just want you to know that um that your friends, you know, we still think about you. Thanks. It's gotten into him, man. I don't know, but if I get it, shoot me. here today to celebrate relief in the form of the Vietnamese Anti-Communist Relief Fund. Hi. Hi. You look nice. Thanks. So do you. Vietnamese food? Oh, my parents always made a federal case about it. 
He said, I had to eat it just to be nice to Vin. So, of course, I had to be a jerk. Besides, it's always seemed kind of weird. What about American food? You know, like a chili dog's weird? Hmm. Look, I can't be scared of chop foam. It's just shrimp over sugar cane. And this, some bale. It's Ed. rice flour Ed. and shredded shrimp. So long, Mr. Pong! <laughs> what are you doing this far from the bar, huh? Catherine. Who's that guy? Mr. Lawndale? He owns Westpac Medical Supply. He arranges the shipping for my father's relief program. Why? Uh, nothing. Let me buy you, Pop. Someone broke in last night and opened a crate. It contained 50 rifles and 20,000. Thank you. 50 rifles and 20,000 rounds of ammunition. Nothing was taken. It uh, might have been a doper. We get a few of those. But it might not have been. I don't want anything to compromise the movement. Colonel, I'm not worried about the movement. I'm worried about me. But we have a common bond now. Oh, no. 30 SAM missiles, 1,000 M16s, and half a million rounds of ammunition. And I move them. Where? My people are waiting for the weapons. We'll just have to wait a little longer, that's all. Do you ever think about the future? You mean, uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I used to want to be a veterinarian. I want a farm. I know, horses and cows. You? On a farm? <laughs> yeah. I used to want to live in the country. You know what a farm vet does? He helps cows get well so they live long enough to be turned into quarter pounders. <laughs> it's ridiculous. How'd you get to be so cynical? <laughs> Practice. Can I ask you uh, something personal? Sure. Uh, where, where's the bathroom? Thanks.
Um, just checking out this map. I wanted to see if I could find out where Vin came. My parents just pulled into the driveway. You better go out the back door. Didn't they know I was coming over? Why'd you risk that? Sorry. Quick, quick. Out, right? So no one can find anything. We're safe. What makes you think you're so safe? What did you mean by that? Well, look, we're in this together, right? We share a common bond, remember? It could happen to one of us. It could happen to the other. America, they're all crazy. Get Tina and go to Tang's house. You promised me. No more war. It was all over. You say no more war. Daddy, what's going on? 
Go to your Uncle Tang's house right away. Why? What's happening? Nothing. Then why do I have to go? Who is it? Detective Ruchero, sir. Detective Ruchero, Mr. Kelly. Remember me? Yeah. I'd like to talk to your son for a minute, if I could, please. It's been ringing. Huh. All right, now listen to me. I don't like bullshit. Not from anybody, okay? Least of all from someone I've gone out on a limb for. Now, I can't pin that fire on you right now. But I know you said it. And that makes it a whole different ballgame. You don't go around setting fires. I don't care what your problem is. Somebody had to shake their tree. You said so yourself. Oh, yeah. By the rules. But you don't like rules, do you? No. You're above the rules, right? Well, let me give you a piece of news. I was the one guy in the universe that listened when you talked. Now, there's nobody. you trouble. My friendship with an American boy is the least of my troubles. You know, I really like you. Um... Thanks, friend. What's this? Uh, it's nothing. It's just an old lighter. This is my father's. No, no, no. I, I got it at some army surplus store. The American ambassador gave this to my father in 1972. It has his name on it. Hmm. Any way I try and explain it, it's gonna come out all wrong. I'll try. Cô thấy đâu cả em? Quá còn bé chưa bao giờ nữa như thế này cả. Em bảo là nếu mà người ta thấy nó phải vào trường cái ngay biết ngay đó. Không có bỏ cảnh sát đi. Thôi được rồi nhá. Nó về rồi em này. Where were you? Where did you go? You have any idea where we are going to? Where were you? What happened to Vin? Why ask me about that now? What happened to Vin? Who have you been speaking to? How did he die? He killed himself. How would I know more than you? It wasn't about guns, Daddy. It wasn't about Mr. Londale. It's his brothers, isn't it? All of this. I don't blame him for what he's done. I'd have done anything. Anything. B. 
believing Kelly's death was an accident. You have to believe one thing about me. Whatever I've done, I've done for our Vietnamese nation. Vietnamese brother. You don't know what the boy's done. something to take care of. He's a kid? And he did it alone? Christ. Well, as long as he's keeping it between him and us, you know it has to be done. No, F. I'm out. Well, I'm not. Eric. said Londell wanted to see me. Mm-hmm. That's not what they say. They say you called them fucking faggot slant-eyed gooks. It really sounds just like me, you know? Oh, yeah? You ready to tell me about the fire? What fire? You scared, Brian? No. You want me? Big motorcycle. I mean, don't Nowhere. think about it now. Two okay. guys try and mow me down. I mean, Brian, here. look at this. It's trash. It's, it's just trash. a skateboard, sweetheart. The most important thing is that you're all right. Brian. Who was the other guy? The one that got lucky and rode off. What other guy? Oh, come on. You don't think he'd be protecting you right now, do you? You can bet your ass he wouldn't. How come? Yo, no. I'm up in hell, yeah. Call you some Yeah, I'm good. Fellas, this is Detective Oliver. Let's all get to know each other. Nice to meet you. So, who 
paid you guys to run down that kid. Truck or Londale? Who's Londale? Who's truck? Yabo, come on, man, wake up. Wake up, right? Yabo, wake up. Let's fix this, all right? Mine is dead. Okay. But I need a new deck, all right? Street wheels, lapper, nose guard, rails. Make sure the trucks are real tight. Who okay? are you? Yeah, I don't have time to joke around. The uh, lawyers are getting pretty stained, but I told them they were still in processing. Okay, we're gonna go through this one more time for the detective here. The whole story. Hey. Can you tell me, yeah, the truck? Can you tell me to talk to Hey, my. My nói thằng cho đẻ nào? Lawndale. That's all. Thanks, guys. Get us everything we need. Welcome, Hive. Oh, no, 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 black ones, please. Brian, it's a rougher ride on the street. All they are is faster. Right. Got it. Brian, Detective Lucero's here. Wake up. at six in the morning. Listen, it's time to scramble. Gotta round up the guys. Ryan needs us. Bangkok. We're in this together. We kill Ving. 
and he'll be meant well. We killed Bobby Nguyen. He started out a good boy, and you got to him. Look, no one knows anything except a kid on a skateboard. My daughter knows as well. Are you going to kill her too? Daddy, a police car just pulled up outside. Here we go, Vin. Go out and talk. Get up there. 
See that road? Turn right. Thanks a lot, pal. What the hell? All right. Still with you. Come on, let's go. Okay.
You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Take it easy. Just stay there. Yeah. I'll take care of you. Okay. All right? Shit. Seems less than an hour old, man. Look at this. You didn't have a truck tight enough. I could have killed. Sorry. Well, next time, all right? It's all right. Father? I'm sorry. I really am sorry. What are you gonna do? My mother wants to stay here. But I don't know. After what's happened, how can I go back to school again? How can I face everyone? Look, um, don't go back until I'm out of here. And we'll, uh, both go back together. I'll, I'll walk you. Must have been a pretty terrific guy. Yeah, he was. Well, happens, you know. Good ones come along once in a while. Sometimes they're even riding a skateboard. A board? Imagine that. So how are things at home? Different. They, uh, they talk to me now instead of about me. Yeah, and are you listening or answering back? Huh? Hey. Gotta make some adjustments. Right? Right. Right. Come on. Okay. Ah, hey! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> 